Now, if you're wondering what kind of wax this is, it's uh, called Victory Brown Wax. Uh, this is actually the wax that was used in the Captain Lovewell wax casting that I had in the studio, and I just figured I might as well use it. I got it. Let's use it. So, what I've got is two quarter inch uh, thick uh, masonry uh, boards, and I've got some of the paper that they put on the wax to keep it from sticking to each other. And uh, I'm going to press this wax right between the two boards. And what that will do is give me an even thickness of my clay. Let's see if that worked. Well, it still has to go down a little bit. I'm going to trim off the uh, wax just a hair. Okay. To, uh, hmm, you know what? I might just put some of this stuff down. By golly, that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> uh, who says, who was that said the same famous saying, necessity is the mother of invention? Well, baby, that's the mother of invention right there. Okay. Oh, works beautifully. Look at that. I got it to the thickness. <laughs> Bring out the heavy guns when you need them. All right. All right, I'm going to turn off the camera and just continue doing this. I got this at an antique store. I have no idea what it was used for. So as you saw me doing yesterday, I was uh, making the armatures for these uh, waxes. And uh, I'm going to do the first three pieces as the uh, center uh, feathers. Now, if you remember a couple of videos ago, I showed you how I scaled these feathers. I'm going to just put that on there and cut around it. So those are the uh, chief feathers, and they're going to be the first three feathers in the uh, front of the uh, headdress. Now, I want to uh, 
heat up this wire so that uh, I can melt it into the clay wax. Remember, <laughs> this is that's something I gotta do 30 some odd times. It's gonna be just a blast. Got that feather anchored with a uh, aperture. Okay. Now what I'm doing is I'm putting the uh, flat side of the uh, wire tool up against the uh, armature. I'm just going along the armature and I'm making a thin edge on that edge. Now what I'm going to do is get the texture in the feather using a serrated edged uh, tool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with the texture going more straight from the feather at the back, or bottom part of it, and gradually turning it towards the up direction as I get to the top. And if you're going to put that texture in the one feather, you got to do it on all the feathers. Well worth it. And now, I want to put some imperfections in the feather. <laughs> do it without cutting myself. Don't want to do too many, and you don't want to do them all in the same positioning. You want each feather to be unique. Okay. Now just put the uh, quill down on the uh, feather. That's the front side. Now I got to do the back side. I'm going to take my exacto knife and just put a couple of long strokes into the feather. Okay, I want to keep all the uh, quills the same length, and so I marked uh, this one. And now I'm going to set that aside until I'm ready to work on the other part of that. So that's going to do it for today and I'm just going to continue working here on these feathers and uh, I'll see you next time when I get done with them. It may be a couple of week, a couple of days into next week before I'm done with feathers. Once I get the feathers and everything else will start flowing into shape real quick. Alright everybody, have a great night and uh, next time.